All right, folks, today we're making this amazing looking Bavarian liver meatloaf, including a pretzel bun and coleslaw. So stay tuned. It's time to grill. It's Oktoberfest season again, so let's get this video receipt starting with chopping up onion. This is one yellow onion cut in half and then in slices. We're gonna place that in our hexclad pan, adding some butter and stir for approximately 8 till 10 minutes. After 8 till 10 minutes, your onions could look like this. Add 150 milliliters of beef broth and let that simmer for 5 minutes. This is an important part of the coleslaw we are preparing today. So take it off after 5 minutes and cool down. In German butcheries, during that time of the year, you will be able to buy these liver meatloaves. It's technically processed meat. It's available with some topping, sometimes French onion topping, sometimes there is even a pizza version available and it's great stuff. Prepare your grill on indirect Heat 160 degrees Celsius, about 320 degrees Fahrenheit and grill this meatloaf on indirect heat for approximately 1 hour or 1 hour 10 minutes, something in between. Then take your chilled onions, adding vinegar, lime juice, a decent amount of cream, give it a good mix. Now it depends a little bit on how salty your beef stock is. I'm just seasoning with pepper, otherwise add a good amount of salt as well. Then you will need mustard, sweet mustard and that's it. Take some cabbage and put this completely over your cabbage. Give it a good mix and let that sit in the fridge for 20 minutes or 30 minutes, something like this. Half an hour should do a good job. Great stuff. Now we have baked a pretzel bun. That's pretty easy. I will put the amount of ingredients and the how-to into the video description. So if you haven't made your own pretzel buns at home, you missed out. This one is perfect for all these Bavarian nice delicious recipes. You can do this as pretzel buns or different versions available. I spread over some yellow mustard. On the top bun I'm putting some sweet mustard, which is a must have to go with this Bavarian liver meatloaf. And then of course you should take a German beer, this is German wheat beer. Bublebräu, which is one of my favorite. I like that a lot. And it's great to go with the Bavarian recipes. Don't worry about the shirt, it's Portuguese beer. I'm a beer guy. That's one of the good points when it comes to discussion about globalization. I know that a lot of people outside Germany are available to get the beer and the other way around. Cheers. Now your meatloaf should look like this. Just make sure it has 70 degrees Celsius core temperature to have this completely safe. Cool down a little bit and then slice it. And I love this. Make sure to check the video description. We have the whole list of ingredients for today's recipe in there for the coleslaw and for the buns. Make sure to check your local butchery for Bavarian liver meatloaf. If it's not available, use something instead like a Bologna, heated up, smoked. This would also do a great job with that kind of bun and the coleslaw, I promise. Take one decent slice of it, top it with the slaw we made. And this is the perfect dish for your next autumn barbecue. Can't wait to hear your thoughts about this. I'm gonna show you some close-ups and of course I'm gonna give this a shot right now. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. I would really appreciate that. We are close to 1000 subscribers which is a big milestone for the international channel. Anyway, what's up this? Thanks for watching. I'm out. See you.